Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make a chicken pot pie. So this, so this is going to be chicken with vegetables in a pie dish and topped with a layer of puff pastry. It's not a difficult recipe but it takes a little bit of time because you have to brown the chicken for instance then cook off the vegetables uh, then uh, put the chicken and the vegetables into a pan with uh, the stock and some milk and some mustard and thyme and then you cook that for 20 minutes or so and then once that's cooked that can go into a pie dish after the chicken's been shredded and you can put the pastry on top and bake it in the oven so there's those steps involved but it's not difficult so I'll go on to the ingredients and for this I have um, 300 grams which is about two cups of onions finely chopped uh, 200 grams, about one and a half cups of carrots, quite finely chopped, and 130 grams, one cup of celery, finely chopped. I also have 130 grams, which is one cup of frozen peas, and I'm just going to put those back in the fridge for the time being, because I, I don't need those yet. I have one kilogram, which is 2.2 pounds, of uh, boneless and skinless chicken thighs and you can use whatever chicken you want but I like uh, chicken thigh meat so I'm using those. I haven't trimmed those yet but before I brown them I will trim them just a little bit. I have 15 millilitres, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard or any mustard you want. I have three grams, one tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves. 30 millilitres, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, 50 grams, three and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter, 50 grams, a third of a cup of plain flour based on scooping packed flour into a 250 millilitre cup, 480 grams, two cups of whole milk, 240 grams, one cup of chicken stock, I'm going to use one beaten egg. I have one sheet of uh, ready rolled puff pastry there and I have salt and pepper for seasoning. So that's all the ingredients I need and the first thing we need to do is to brown the chicken and set it aside. So I have my oil um, heating or a tablespoon of oil heating in my casserole and I'm simply going to take my chicken pieces and cook them until they're browned on each side. And as each piece browns, I'll take it out and replace it with another one. And with um, my chicken lightly browned, I'm going to add in the remaining tablespoon of oil. And then I'm going to put my celery, my onions and my carrots in. And I'm going to cook those until they've softened. And that might take 10 minutes or so on not too high a heat. And with my vegetables softened, I'm going to transfer those to a bowl for the time being and then I'm going to add my butter into the pan I allow that to melt 
And as the butter melts, I'm going to put my flour in and I'm going to stir that around into a paste so it makes a roux. And I want that all combined and nice and smooth. This will be the, the thickening agent for the filling basically for the pie. And then I'm going to pour in my milk a little bit at a time to start with and stir it around. And then I'll whisk that as necessary to get that fairly smooth and with the milk and the stock mixed in like that I'm going to add in my thyme and my mustard and whisk those through as well And then I'm going to put in my vegetables. And the chicken. I'm going to put my peas in as well. And I'm going to Bring that to a simmer, but first of all I need to add some seasoning, so I'm just going to put some salt in. And some pepper. Like that. I'm going to turn the heat down once it starts to simmer and then I'm going to cover that and allow it to cook for about 20 minutes or so until the chicken is cooked all the way through. So with the lid on uh, the casserole I'll allow the chicken to cook for about 20 minutes or so. I will test it with my instant read thermometer to make sure that the meat is cooked. Um, if it is, I will turn the heat off. Then I just need to shred the chicken ready to go into our uh, pie dish for baking. So it's been um, actually about 25 minutes, but my 
chicken is now fully cooked. I've tested it with my thermometer and the temperature is actually um, about 88 to 92 all the way through. So that means they're cooked. But I'm simply going to pull those apart and shred the pieces of chicken. You can do it as large or as small as you like, basically. So I've shredded the chicken. And I'm just going to leave that for a while. Then I'll transfer it to um, a pie dish and leave it to cool a little bit longer before I put the pastry on. So I'll come back when I'm ready to bake the pie and at that stage I'll have my oven preheating to 200 degrees Celsius, 180 Celsius with a fan, 390 Fahrenheit and I'll have my pastry ready to go onto the top of my pie. My oven is preheating and I've rolled my pastry out of, well I've unrolled it should I say from the, uh, the packaging and I'm, I'm just going to cut a little bit off each end like that. And I'll strip those off because I don't need those. like that and then I'm going to put this square over the top of my filling which is now in my pie dish like that Oops. that's a mistake So I'm going to brush around the edge of the pie dish just to wet it with beaten egg. And then I'll lay the pastry over the top. like that and I'm going to peel that off the paper and with the pastry peeled off I'm going to tuck any excess under and press it against the edge of the dish just like that it doesn't have to be too pretty and then what I need to do is make a hole in the center or a couple of holes like that and I need to put that into the oven to bake but first of all I have to brush the top with the beaten egg like that and that will go into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 35 to 40 minutes until the pastry has got a nice golden brown colour on the top. Now I will stand this uh, pie dish on a baking tray so that uh, if any of the uh, liquid oozes out it catches in the baking tray rather than on the bottom of the oven uh, but once it's baked for 35 to 40 minutes I'll take it out of the oven then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and we'll have a taste. So I baked my pie in the oven for 40 minutes and I took it out of the oven um, and I've now cut a piece out of it so I'll show you what it looks like. So the pastry baked up quite nicely as you can see and the filling um, is very very good. It's piping hot but I'll have a taste of the piece that I've cut out. Mm. That's very very good. 
a lovely rich sauce um, and juicy chicken with all those vegetables inside. So it's an easy recipe to make really if you've got the time and the inclination. That's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.